everyone, it's Andy Zitzman, founder of the Game Time Movement, where I'm on a mission to helping you and one million other people step up your game. In this short three to five minutes every day, I'm going to provide you with inspiration, motivation, and empowering information so that you can wake up, have a little pick-me-up, get fired up so that you step up on a daily basis. So get ready, because it's time, it's your time, it's game time. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Andy Zitzman and welcome to today's show. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about guarding against the negative. That's right, guard against the negative. So yesterday, we talked about fear. We talked about overcoming, leveraging your fear, stepping into that fear so you can step into your greatness. And so hopefully, you've taken that leap. Hopefully, you've taken some action to fight through that fear, to friend your fear. That's right, go back to episode 16. Friend your fear, I'll walk you through the four-step process to friend your fear. Face, embrace, act, repeat. Friend your fear, episode 16. Now, now here's the deal. You've taken the leap. You've friended your fear. You've taken the leap. The next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to guard against the negative. That's right. I'm telling you that the second you make some forward movement in your dreams, in your goals, in your desires, there's going to be some negative things that pop up. In fact, most people in this world are negative. You could turn on the news tonight and you could see a ton of negative things. You know what I'm talking about. There is a ton of negativity out there and you got to be able to guard against the negative because negativity will pop up. And if you don't pay attention, it might start pulling you back down. That fear will set back in. You'll have naysayers telling you, you can't do this, you can't do that. And you will go back into playing small and being average if you don't guard against the negative. So here's what you can do. The first thing you can do to guard against the negative is to ask yourself, how much time do you spend on you each and every day? Do you invest in yourself each and every day? How much time? Because once you start investing in yourself, You just ultimately have a higher self-esteem, you're gonna feel more positive, and you're gonna very likely be around more positive, empowering, like-minded people, people just like you that wanna step up their game and step into their greatness. So you gotta invest in you, number one. And in invest in you, some of the things that you can do is you can read. I'm telling you, you know, when's the last time you picked up a really good book about business, about sales, about motivation, something about personal development and growth that would just help you, you know, come alive and feel passionate and learn some skills to help you take yourself to the next level. You got to read. And when you read, you guard against the negative. That's right. Oh, go attend a seminar, a workshop, something where you can put yourself into a room with like-minded people. That's right. Something that can teach you more about you so that you can better manage you. So you invest in yourself, you read, you hit a seminar or a workshop, and then in addition to that, you gotta continue to stay around like-minded people. So you gotta ask yourself, who are you surrounding yourself with? Are they negative or positive? You gotta be around positive people because in order to be great, in order to achieve your goals, your dreams, and in order to get to where you wanna go, you are gonna have to be positive, stay positive, remain positive, and the surefire way to do that is to be around positive people. So look at who you're hanging out and make sure sure you get into a room and stay in a room with some very positive people, like-minded people. And lastly, you got to ask yourself, who and what do you listen to? Who do you listen to? Who are you taking your advice from? Are you taking your advice from someone that's negative or positive? Are you taking your advice from someone that can encourage and motivate you, that has what you want, that has accomplished the things that you're trying to accomplish? Because if you aren't, well, I'm telling you, you're probably gonna be brought down to that negative place again. But if you are, you will be able to model them, learn from them, grow from them, be inspired. So who are you listening to? And what do you listen to? Maybe you need to invest in listening each and every day to a podcast. Maybe you gotta go to YouTube to watch a video. Maybe you gotta just get some personal development, you know, tapes, CDs. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, uh, you know, sharing my age there with the tapes, but some CDs or just go online and download some great personal information, personal development information that you can listen to on the way to work. You gotta pay attention to what and who you listen to because in order to be great, you don't just gotta be positive, you gotta stay positive and you gotta absolutely 
with intention, guard against the negative. That's right, there is so much negative out there and you gotta be a champion, you gotta guard against that negative. It's time, it's your time. You know it's your time to guard against the negative, to be positive, to stay positive. It's game time. Hey, thanks for tuning in today and thanks for stepping up your game. Here's what you can do to spread the movement. Go to GameTimeMovement.com and be sure to share your Game Time Moment of the Day, your GMOTD, so that others will feel compelled to share their Game Time Moments too. And if you haven't already, subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher Radio and please be so kind to leave a rating and review so that we can reach 1 million people and encourage them to step up their game too. This is Andy Zitzman. Reminding you, it's your time, it's game time, till next time.